Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday night. One person reportedly shot near Miami Norland Senior High and Middle Schools today. The shooting allegedly happening following an argument outside. The victim arrived at a fire station along Northwest 12th Avenue and was later airlifted to the hospital. Both schools were locked down as a precaution, but this was reportedly not an active shooter situation. No word yet on the victim's exact condition or if anyone has been taken into police custody. The former administrator of a Broward nursing home where a dozen patients died during Hurricane Irma is now on trial for manslaughter. Investigators say the Hollywood Hills Rehabilitation Center did not evacuate patients after the power was knocked out for days and temperatures soared. The state says that administrator George Carballo failed to get patients the help they needed and instead went home. Meanwhile, the defense claims Carballo is being used as a scapegoat and that other personnel had opportunities to evacuate residents. Chaos in Doral after a suspect in a stolen vehicle evaded police before crashing the car, stealing another one and then taking off. Police spotted the stolen pickup truck and tried to pull the driver over, but they sped away. They eventually crashed the truck into a median and two people bailed out, then hopped into another stolen car. We're told the suspects were caught in Hialeah and taken into custody. And today is a huge milestone for one of the first black Marines. 100-year-old Corporal George Johnson finally received a bronze replica of the Congressional Gold Medal after serving as a Monfort Point Marine in the early 1940s. Johnson spoke to Local 10 last month, telling us how America's first black Marines were not being recognized for their hard work as they endured racial discrimination for their white co from their white colleagues. Several other Marines were also honored today. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and see you back on Tuesday.